<laughs> my adorable mono cubs. Hey guys, so I can welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We've just been through an emotionally charged trial. Gonta Gokuhara is the latest student to be executed. Tempers were flaring, shit was being slung, alliances were breaking, and now Kokichi is planning to put his grand scheme into motion. He's going to try and end the killing game. Now we've heard that before, twice in fact. Once with Kaede, and we all saw how that turned out, and well, the other was Nagito. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that kind of explains itself, doesn't it? So. We're heading on to chapter 5 now. I imagine things are just going to get even more intense, but before we do that, I figured I'd just share a couple more theories I might have that they are probably going to be wrong. Anyway, so, I've been thinking about how, you know, the secret of the outside world, Gonta said that, man, shit's gone sideways outside, and I killed Mew because I didn't want her to realize the truth. It was pretty much a mercy kill, right? And I was thinking, well, it's probably along the lines of Danganronpa 1 and 2, with the outside world being destroyed. In that case, it was the tragedy. In this case, I think it's literal Armageddon. We've had meteorites come down and just smash the Earth up. And so, what if we're not on Earth anymore? What if um, the world has ended? I think I've said this a couple of times. What if we're in space or, um, or on the moon or something like that? And uh, that'll explain why the stars and everything were different, according to Gunta. But then again, we could be in the Neo world. I don't know. It's one of the two. Anyway. Uh, I figured, you know, with the end of the world and everything, just like in Danganronpa 1, the Ultimates were sort of decided to have been saved uh, because they were going to usher in a new age of humanity once the whole disaster tied it over, the whole gigantic cataclysm. And maybe that's where the Ultimate Hunt was born um, in the terms of people were jealous that these Ultimates get to live, why don't everyone else? get to live so they decided to hunt down the ultimates as some sort of revenge because the ultimates get to be saved and they don't uh maybe <laughs> i don't know i'm thinking of the weirdest theories like i just literally just lie down on my bed at night thinking what the hell is going on you know and so i've also thought you know rontaro i think i mentioned this before rontaro could be an ultimate programmer he this might be a neo world that he's set up for basically all of humanity could be because the world's ended the earth is gone and so everyone's kind of living on through the Neo World program, perhaps? <sighs> I don't know. The more I say it out loud, the more weird it sounds. But I'm not going to say it's entirely wrong. It could be. Maybe I've got some parts right? I don't know. Obviously, uh, I don't want you guys to tell me, but I suppose we'll find out, because Chapter 5 is where everything seems to get revealed in these games. Anyway, let's carry on where we left off. Enough rambling. Here we go. Monokuma is upset that he's lost all his cups. Little Monotaro. Supposedly. Little Mono funny. Little Mono dumb. And the rest. You see, he's already forgotten Monosuke and Monokid. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I wonder if, like... What Gonta saw was literally the Earth, like, covered in magma or something, or it's, like, literally blown apart or something. I told them, make the most of your life, because you only get one shot at it! And once it's over, nothing can replace it! Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? Oh, Monokuma, have you been taking lying lessons from Kokichi? If only they cared about their lives! Such a faux eulogy you're giving right now. It's all their fault! Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. Mm-hmm. But the more I think about it, why did those kids even exist? That is a good question. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? I don't know where your cubs came from. I hope it's not from good old Monami. Voyage without passion or purpose. Daily life. It's a purple theme. And purple is Kokichi's color. The morning after Gonta was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dining hall, as always. Well, gotta eat, right? I have a feeling Kokichi's not gonna be here, though. 
Oh, what a surprise. There's only seven of us left. As always? No. How could that be? With everything that happened yesterday? Ah, bug! Bug! Ooh, bug. But yeah, a lot of shit went down at the end of that trial. My goodness me. Even in such a dark time. One of us was still bright, trying to cheer us up. Himiko, is that you? Jeez. Oh, it's Kaito. Wow. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. Jeez. Don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know. I thought he'd be furious. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Yes, you are. Hey! Are you really okay? I don't know. I feel like he's putting on a mask, just like Kokichi has been. So, come on, Kaito. Be real with us. Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. Huh. I'm 100% better now. But... There's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little, that's all. That is a piss poor excuse. Oh my gosh. You're a worse liar than I am. Um... Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me and can't help you, <sighs> of course we'd be worried. Maki. Oh, she's really crushing on him right now. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> I made you worry for nothing. Come on, man. Speaking of Maki, my goodness me, that sprite of her was so badass. She looked like a witch. Sorry, Himiko, but really, she looked like a witch. <laughs> I, was, I thought she was going to murder Kokichi right then and there. Okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat! Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat! I don't know, something doesn't feel right. Kaito spoke cheerily, then left to go get his meal. Your burdens aren't your own, Kaito. Remember, you told us all that, and you also told Kikichi not to hide behind a mask. Come on, man. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? We can't. There's plenty wrong. Hmm. Despite Kaido's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. But... Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? Kinda of voice my thoughts, Imiko. I don't know if I'm right. You know, it's kind of plausible, I guess. We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. Um... Gonta wouldn't tell us what it was because it would give us so much to spare we'd want to die. Yeah, and Shuichi has mentioned, you know, he, he wants to die when he was wearing that helmet when we see that in the flashbacks, right? So, maybe Gonta's not lying about that. What was that? If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. Hungus. I mean... We can't figure that out just by thinking about it. So there's no point wasting your brain power. But... But we can't simply not think about... You know... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. Making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gota just snapped under that pressure. The outside world's probably fine. Is it, though? Is it really? You. You're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me to- Oh, okay. I thought she was trying to say optimist. But that's actually a pretty cool line. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me? Uh... I think you mean optimist. Oh, Samigi's thinking what I was thinking. <laughs> but you know... Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that now. Shuichi! As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh... Okay. Uh, I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Kaizo? Since the incident yesterday, Kaido won't look me in the eyes, of course. So, I figured he is still angry at us. Well, 
it's to be expected. I wasn't going to think everything was going to be all peachy and easy going forward. But you know what? I had to do what I had to do, all right? I can't turn away from the truth. That's literally the first lesson I learned here at the Ultimate Academy for gifted students. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I didn't do this, we'd all be dead. We wouldn't be eating in this dining hall right now. If I hadn't identified Gonza as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. I, just, I don't like the way that's worded, though. We had to sacrifice Gonta for all of us to survive, you know? And the guy didn't even know he didn't, he'd done anything, but then again, his alter ego version was happy to keep secret, the outside world, that is. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so... I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Yeah, you didn't have to say his name. Kind of figured who you were talking about. Huh? Uh. The instant Kaido spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. I mean, it's all well and good that, that Kokichi wants to end the killing game right here, right now, but he's obviously the most suspicious out of all of us, right? So if he p commits a murder, all eyes are going to be on him straight away. I suppose his only recourse is to go for the... Um, for the last two people standing rule, right? Now, I'm kind of worried because there is no rule in this game regarding uh, maximum amount of kills for one blackened, right? In the previous games, you could kill a maximum of two fellow students before, you know, you were restricted from committing any more murders. In this case, there's nothing stopping you from just massacring the rest of the class, right? And then you'd just be one of two people left standing. Now, Rantaro did mention in his message that there's something special about this rule of only two people surviving, right? But he's obviously not alive. Or is he? Somehow I feel like he's faked his death. Because if this is the Neo World program and he is the ultimate programmer, which I'm... I don't even know. Like, all this is revolving around the fact that he's a programmer. <laughs> um, he could have set up rules just like Mew uh, that will keep him alive, right? Hmm... So the killing game in class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. There's something special about this rule. Don't know what it is just yet. But yeah, there's nothing stopping people from just killing the rest of the class. Right? Swimming prohibited. If two different murders are by different murderers occur at the same time. I don't know if this is going to be relevant anymore. I feel like it was only relevant for chapter 3, but you never know. Chapter 5 always seems to be a doozy. Anyway, oh, also, I should probably, I went ham at the, uh, at the casino, basically gambled my life savings away, and bought pretty much, like, everything I could. I missed out on a couple of backgrounds, but I figured, you know what, let's set it to, I could either set it to Extreme Monokuma, to Monokuma. or we could go Fully Cursed, and chuck on, where is it, where is it, I can't find it now. No, where is it gone? Supreme purple. Because I'm a liar. <laughs> Maybe we stick with this for now. Oh man, this is too crazy. No, it's cursed. It's cursed. It's cursed. We're putting it back to Monoguma. No, I'm not going to main menu. Dress up. Put it back to Monoguma. That's crazy. Leave it to I'd rather have a Monoguma theme than a Kokichi theme because I feel like I'm going to go slightly insane if I keep seeing Kokichi's face in my monopad. Anyway, back to the story. No. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. I don't blame Itsumugi. That guy is radical. He's a force of nature. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Hmm. I wonder if anyone decided to go look at the graffiti and see that it's actually Kokichi's message. Um. I don't think that's happened because Gonta was the one who used to check it out, right? We can't just let that person be he's a little too dangerous no not just a little because he <laughs> he enjoys watching us suffer he certainly does he's diabolical his face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer he's not normal there's obviously something wrong with him 
Yeah. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. Probably for free. <sighs> Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Magi roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Yeah? Is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki Roll? Uh. Sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. <laughs> oh, poor Hibiko. <gasps> if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. Yep. No. Actually. We're safe right now. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. By killing someone, he puts himself at risk of losing. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But... He might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna try and use us as pawns to kill each other off. But how's he gonna do that? Then again, he's a master manipulator. Anyway... We need to find him as soon as... Is he just gonna burst right in? Nope, it's Monokuma. Here I am! No cubs to be found. Yeah. Monokuma? Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay! Can do! But where are we going to go? Like, there's no more floors above that cathedral-looking floor, right? Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah! Of course! I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Huh? Outnumbered? Well... But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time. What the heck? You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key! I see. Two keys left. Is it finally time to open that checkered door? Well, what's the difference? And I'm just thinking, we're, we're short three labs, aren't we? We're short the Ultimate Astronaut Lab, we're short the Ultimate Supreme Leader's Lab, and we're short Rontaro's Lab. If we quickly consult the map... Magician... Uh, is that literally the only lab down here? Hey look! There's actually something here now! I don't think that... That little key-shaped... Whole... Room, whatever, used to be there. Hmm. So that's one, two, three, four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, 13 labs, okay, but now only then. two keys. Go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye bye. See you later. Bye, Onara. Hey, that's Angie's word. Hmm. What should we do? So what should we do about this new area? I... I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Yeah, I wonder. Most of these flashback lights already show stuff that we've seen, like at the beginning of the chapters, right? Like the meteorites and the funeral. I wonder if we're going to see anything to do with Rontaro's message. Why, you? So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um... I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. <laughs> hey. What do you want to do, Kaito? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. All right. Our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Then... All right. Uh, I'll hold on to that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed the key into my palm. Hmm? Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. Read the room! <sighs> I hope Maki's not against me right now. We split up and began our search. Alright, let's go. Where do we head off to first? 
Well, we we'll always start with that checkered room. It looks like it's open now, since I can see a blueprint. That's got to be Kokichi's room, right? Kokichi's lab. Oh, there's three people already here. Kaito. Seriously, man. Can we fix this before it gets out of hand? Kaito still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is going to be awkward. Uh, that's if we even can talk to him. Maki? Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. Or he's used that card key again. That punk. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. <sighs> but I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey! Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Okiji, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so. Ugh. Great. I forgot. We're high schoolers. <laughs> Kimiko? Jeez. Oh, it looks like Kaido's still upset with you. Hey, Shuichi. He needs to get over himself. But you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Say sorry? Uh. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort of out their feelings in just one night. Yeah. Time heals all wounds, right? Okay. Let's give it a shot. I don't even know which key to use. Probably this classic one. Judging by the door handles. What was that? It sounded like it broke. It's unlocked. Alright. Let's go. The key. It's still here. Can it be used for something else? Huh. Spiral staircase. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does the staircase lead? What the hell is this place? There's still a, a monitor. First floor. Ah! Where am I going? This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? Oh, the fifth floor? Even beyond that? Where are we going? Finally, reach the top. I feel as if there's something there. It's best to be cautious. And go. The ultimate astronaut's lab. It's Kaito's. Is this another ultimate lab? Then it must be. Got it. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Ah, Kaito. Mm. Those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. <sighs> they made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey! What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. Hey! I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride? Hey! Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around! What do you mean, probably? It's gotta be full of super important stuff. Hey! Isn't anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride. Um, uh, let's go inside then. Well, at least he's gonna let me in. What's in here? Whoa. Wow. This place is fancy. Jeez. Hmm. This is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. It kinda looks like the, the Monokuma controls from... Trigger Happy Havoc in Hope Speak Academy. Mm. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah. I've never seen this machine. But I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. <sighs> what reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know... But wow. Is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Nah. No, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? Monokuma? At that moment. Hey. 
Come look at this. Huh? Is something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project. I've heard about this. The Gopher Project. Right. Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. I should have read the file. I can read it from here, but I feel like someone's going to read it out anyway. So this file has information about the project. What? So, what does it say? Uh, okay. Uh, hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um... Let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. Right. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Okay. We will launch a project to protect humanity from the calamity that falls from space. The ones who will carry out this project are young men and women with exceptional talent. We must send these seeds of hope into space in search of a new land for the sake of humanity. Huh. So, space does have something to do with it. But, you know, exceptional young women, men and women, like ultimate cosplayers? <laughs> hey! Well, what about the rest of it? What's it say? Hey. Don't tease us. Just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Really? It's all redacted? Yeah. What did you say? Damn. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it! He's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? Is this... This is like Noah's Ark. Yes, precisely. Huh? Noah's Ark? Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Oh, I see. So... What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible. But to choose that name in particular... Hmm. It does seem related. But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. None of that makes any sense. Well... If we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. <laughs> now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. All right! So it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. Oh, don't say that in front of Kaido. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find the flashback light. <laughs> All right. So the Gopher Project. Damn it, I should have talked to everyone first. A flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. Hmm. A planetarium device? It's a large machine. Perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Oh man, so, I'm kind of right. I'm quite proud of that. The window looks down on the school building and courtyard. There's nothing above. It seems this is the top floor. Okay, I completely forgot about the gopher project for a minute there. Anything else? Oh, I can slap this stuff. Nope. Alright, let's go. Got other labs to explore. So, we were shipped out as, like, you know, savers of humanity or whatever, just like I thought. But, it's kind of strange, you know, like I said. Oh, well, that'll explain the no bugs as well, right? Because we're in space. Um, <laughs> like, we've got ultimate cosplayers. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think about the talents that aren't as, you know, handy. Ultimate Neo Aikido, maybe? You could say. Is that relevant? I can see Ultimate Inventor being kind of important. But, you know. Ultimate Tennis Pro? Like, I don't know. Something about it. Like, why us? Ultimate Robot? Ultimate Maid? Oh, I suppose she's the, the Prime Minister, so... I don't know. It's all suspicious. Very suspicious. Okay. Suppose I can try and find out where we need to go by seeing where everyone's hanging out. 
Oh, there must be something on the fifth floor, right? What's this? Speech bowl? Okay, well, there's Kibo and Tamugi hanging out by the Shrine of Judgment. Uh, let's start with heading on upstairs. Just really quickly. I'm not going to teleport this time because I want to level up. <laughs> I did buy a bunch of skills from the casino since I went crazy with Outlaw Run. Got the S rank, so I got the 10 times 9999 bonus, which allowed me to just purchase whatever I wanted. <laughs> Pretty much, which was pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. The go for project, huh? But uh, too bad that we put the bloody ultimate supreme leader on this voyage. Well, that would explain the chapter title, the voyage. So, I wonder: Are we in space? Are we in a shuttle? Are we on the moon? Are we on a different planet? Is Earth still around, or is it gone? Okay, creepy music's gone. It's always good. Oh, I should check out uh, Gonta's lab as well. And we'll check out Mii's lab when we head on outside. I swear there was like something else up here. Was there? Oh, nope, I'm just seeing things. Oh, there is a hidden Monokuma though. Her. Gotcha. Ah, there is a door up here. I knew it. I thought I remembered something. Can I open this thing? I can. Alright. Well, let's use this. Hmm. The key works, but it won't turn. Damn it. Really? Uh. Uh-oh. Could it be... Tiki? Back off! Sensing danger, I hurriedly backed away from the door, and then... It wouldn't be Chapter 5 without an explosion. It exploded. A trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have been really hurt. There's no one else up here. And now the key's gone. Maybe that's why the key worked before it exploded, because I needed to use it first. What the hell is this? What kind of symbol is that? Is this Rontaro's lab? It's got a knife and blood. What the hell? Is he a serial killer or something? Or a butcher? From the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. Alright! I should check inside. When I turn the knob... Oh, what a tease! Hmm. It won't open. Uh, you? Yeah, yeah! Oh, that research lab is closed because its owner is dead. Huh? The owner is dead? Hey, um... Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. That's... That's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah! That's because this is the first time I mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway... If this lab belongs to someone who died, then... Is this... Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. You'd know what his talent was if you went in his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Of course it would be. Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth... That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. <sighs> Ugh, we're not gonna be able to get in here, but what the hell is it? Looks devious. Rontaro's lap. I am curious about his talent, but it's too late now. We've got like a spiked bat. Blood dripping down. The hell is that? A mace? And judging from the from the icon, oops! I keep going into the wrong place. It looks like some sort of serial killer's lab. Well, I guess we can't go in there just yet. Eventually, we will be surely. 
All right, let's move. Back down we go. It was worth it coming up all the way up here. Hmm. Damn it, Monokuma. You had to tease me with that, didn't you? Okay, well, it doesn't look like he's a programmer then. <laughs> Unless he's a psychotic one. It'll end the killing game. He set up this killing game. I mean, it all points to him being a psychopath. Oops. Trying to get rid of the map. Alright, back down. Oh, what does it all mean, guys? What does it mean? I don't want this to end, ever. I want to keep going forever and ever. Which is probably bad for these students, because obviously they need to escape this killing game. But still! What am I going to do with my life once Danganronpa's over? What have you guys been doing with your lives when Danganronpa was over for you? Whether you played it or you watched it all. Hmm. I'm going to be so empty. Alright. Let's go. Oh. The greenery is completely gone. This place feels really mechanical now. It's like... It looks like construction is almost done. But what happens then? An ultimate academy. The likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? I feel like we're in some sort of biodome. Like... This is where we're supposed to live out our communal life. While we wait to find somewhere to land, I guess. Oh, there's going... That's, uh... Kaito's lab up top there. What's that over there? Is that like a television screen? I don't even know. Hmm. Alright, down we go. Where am I going to use this key? It's Mugi. Oh, I forgot to check out Gonza's lab. Come on, let's do it real quick. Teleport! Up here. I just want to see what Shuichi has to say. Be nice. Gonta. You were so kind. You always tried to help us. In your own strange way. But I... I sacrificed you. The secret of the outside world you discovered. A horrible truth. To save us from that, you were willing to kill. What could it have been? Oh, don't even know. Anyway, back outside. Hmm. And why a killing game? I don't get it. We're supposed to be the seeds of hope, aren't we? Mew. You were nothing but trouble, even at the very end. But still, you didn't have to die. You didn't deserve to die like that, Mew. I know. Painful. Suffering. Um... There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, right? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Where? Oh, what, what? Where the hell did this come from? I swear I haven't seen this before. Well, is this going to be Kokichi's lab then? Hmm. How have I not seen that? Jeez. I guess I just don't go that way often, huh? But we've only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key or and a magic key. Huh? Huh? What is that? Um... Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Uh... The class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. You know, the same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. I sort of thought, maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, it all seems very scheduled and rehearsed. But... To solve the mystery of this academy, we need to see these new areas. We're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Um... Of course. I know we need to do that too. All right. I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um... All right. Then I'll plainly look around the school. 
I'll let you know if I find anything. You know what I just thought of? See ya, Tsumugi. Monokuma's a lying little bastard. Because when Tanko died, we could still go into her lab, because we practiced Himiko's magic show poses in there. Yet, he's locked away, um, Rontaro's one. What if Himiko's the mastermind, and she let herself into the lab? Hmm, maybe that's some foreshadowing. Anyway, real last key. Let's be on this door. Tron. That sound! Was it the giant door unlocking? I, I guess so. What else could it be? What's beyond? Cyber courtyard? What the heck? Ah! What is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, let's not be robophobic. Okay. Wow. This is like Monokuma Island, the fifth island. Whoa, it's like a little maze. I feel like a little rat. Kibo? Hmm. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway. Perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to. Really? Like some sort of tower defense? this gigantic space here. What the hell? Cyber courtyard? What does this all mean? Where am I going? What's that? Just a light? Um, okay. Is this the exit? What is this? This shutter is huge! This is... It seems to be well fortified. This must be the exit. Or entrance, depending on how you look at it. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That is a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Ah! Wait, it's dangerous, don't... He's gone. Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and... Uh -huh. What is this? Kibo! Get away from... He's gonna get electrocuted in me. Monokuma? Hey! Oh my! Don't you go setting off the alarm now! Okay, okay. Come on, come on, out of the way so I can turn off that alarm! <laughs> he sounds like some old custodian. <sighs> what was that all about? Unbelievable! Jeez! You guys gotta be more careful! Huh? Be careful. What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah? Oh, that's the alarm system. Here. You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? Oh my! In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. So is this where the next murder is going to take place, Monohuma, sir? Hey, um... A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? This place is so important that it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. Hey, um... To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. 59 digits? I'll tell you what the code is, but only once. So make sure you memorize it. 503-934-857-857-326-9405-692-858-11037-959-390-029298-778848. I'm not gonna remember that. Hey! Wait, so, slow down please. 503, what was the rest? <laughs> it's like he's trying to take notes. Yeah! Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. Don't you have that recording function, Kibo? Jeez. An electric barrier and an alarm system. That's pretty tight security. Come on, Kibo, you have that recording function, right? Surely we're gonna use that. Why? What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, this is a very important place. My mood is swinging. Well, it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless? 
Yeah, yeah! Yep, it's pointless. So I may as well give you the guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Gee, thanks. Right. See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier, and you can go inside. Hmm. Um, can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying. But since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. You'll let us in? Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, this is just such a tease, isn't it? Okay, now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and electric barrier, or just use the control panel out here. Or do nothing, and the barrier and alarm will stay off. Now then. Well then, safe travels. Safe travels. He just let us into this highly secured area? What's his game? Shuichi! Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move but forward. My inner voice is telling me, Hope's, Hope moves forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Here we go. Here come the callbacks. 11037. Hope moves forward. Ixisil hangar. Right. It's pointless now, because there's no one to pilot the Exosols. Uh, over there, it's... Uh. An Exosol. Uh, oh no! All five of them are here. It's too dangerous. Let's run. Ah! Uh. Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us. And the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Monokuma! Surprised? This is actually the Exosol hangar! Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols? Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. Wah, 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 wah. But... Uh, it's pointless now. That's... Is it because the Monocubs are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore. Huh? What? No one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I'm very worried. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me! What does that mean? Be quiet! Now, now! Don't get so worked up! You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. <laughs> you are, aren't you, Monokuma? The deactivated Exosols. Is this hangar pointless, now that the Monocubs are gone? Somehow I doubt it. If that's true, is nothing threatening us anymore? Breaking school rules? Can we do that now? Because there's nothing left to punish us, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. As soon as we violate these rules, we'll be immediately exterminated by the Exosols. Hmm. Operation panel? Uh, this control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yes, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn the barrier back on. So we shouldn't touch it. Hmm? Are you saying that I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're implying? Yes. You have a recording function. Literally. No. No? <laughs> Should we be taking the safe option here? The path of least resistance. Exosol green. This is Monodoms. All five Exosols are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the Exosols not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? Red, pink, blue, yellow. Washing machine. It looks like a car wash. Yeah, this looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the Exosols? This is... That seems comfortable. <laughs> comfortable, huh? Yeah. Go right ahead. What's this? What is this door? Oh, we can go in. A bathroom? Really? For who? Do cubs need to use a bathroom? This is a bathroom? It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Well... I suppose that makes sense. 
I'm sure I'm the first person to be here in a while. The Monokuma and the Monocups certainly don't need to use the bathroom. And look at that square thing there next to the toilet. That looks like that mini window, I guess, I saw. That green thing out in the hallway. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? For the mastermind, I guess? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. Really? There's plenty that concerns me here. I can't slap anything, that's very concerning. Or investigate anything. There's even a, a bloody monitor inside. Hmm. Oh man, it's all so suspicious. What does this all mean? Hydraulic press? Oh, this just screams crime scene. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes. Even the exosols could not withstand being crushed by a gigantic metal slab. You're right. True. By the way... Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using that control panel over there. Hmm. There's an up and down button, as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notice written here. Yep, this is where it's going to happen. The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor. When it detects a living being, it automatically stops, for safety reasons. Kibo, I would stay far away from this hydraulic press. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um... What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Of the safety function? Uh, I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh, um... Try what? What? You want to experiment? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the press. Uh-oh, Kibo, no, 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 you're... Are you a living being? I don't want to be robophobic here. I'm genuinely concerned for your safety. Uh... Shuichi, please! I'm... no. Make someone else do it. I don't want to be considered a blackened. Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? You really want to try this out? Just to stay away from it. Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. It's like saying, will this ball of flames melt me down if I walk into it? Watch me. <laughs> you know? It's, the, it's not worth experimenting. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. Uh, are you quick enough to do that? You're no Akane. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. <laughs> rust in peace. <laughs> rust in peace. Ah, oh, the sucker for puns, I'm sorry. He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Uh... Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then... Kibo? Yeah. Oh no! That was a close one. Shouldn't we have tried it with Shuichi first so we could see where it was supposed to stop before we put you under there? You know, maybe that would have been a smarter idea. Wait! <laughs> yes, it was! Why did you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the force stop button, Shuichi? You said you were going to move out of the way. It's not my fault. You're the one who suggested this bad idea in the first place. But... At least we know now. Yes, great. Fantastic, we know now that it's dangerous. I knew that from the beginning. Unfortunately... It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now... Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. You're right. Uh, yeah. Like I said, stay far away from this damn machine. Kibo, did we really need to risk me becoming the blackened for your selfish desires?